Hi, I'm Rusty Schwimmer, and you're watching Film Pigs on Geek Nation. And I got my head bashed in by Jason Voorhees on Jason Goes to Hell the Final Friday. This is what it looked like. <laughs> but it was really like a dummy of me. Hi, uh, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. It's a web series, which is a series of shows that we put on the web, and we talk about movies, mostly. I'm Todd Anderson, your host for this week's web series episode. This is Film Pig Steve Skelton. Film Pig Steve Falk is in New York shooting uh, an episode of Orange is the New Black. He's a writer guy, uh, but he'll be back next week. We have a very special guest. We're very excited. All the way from Chicago, Rusty Schwimmer. Hey. She is an actress. A journey woman actress. She's been in everything from Twister to oh, Perfect Storm. Was on was uh, the, on, on the, the AMC at oh, the bar cha -ching. earlier today. <laughs> cha Ching, look for that eighty-seven cent in the check. Mail. No, it's very about excited. one cent now. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yeah very yeah. exciting. Good times. Right. We have popcorn, Ooh. and we have to clink our popcorn Clinky glasses. Clinks. That's part of the show. Mm. Mm. Best part of the show. Mm. 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 That's why we do it. So, uh, like I was saying, uh, we're no different than all the other jerks on the internet. So uh, we're going to talk just, about. Rusty's just shotgun. Holy shit balls! Listen, <clears throat> this is my first barbecue. So. Wow. Yeah. Your nerves are jangled. You're trying to calm it down. Not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so uh, we're going to do these uh, things we call Rash Judgments where we talk about the movies that are coming out this weekend even though none of us have seen them. But because we're internet jerks, we feel like we can go ahead and just talk about them anyway. Oh yeah. So uh, let's start with uh, Steve Skelton. What's your Rash Judgment? If you're like me, you can't get enough of Tom Hanks battling Somali pirates. And if you're like me, you're in luck. <laughs> because Captain Phillips is coming, and it's Tom Hanks battling Somali pirates. <laughs> He's on the ship. It's the story of the, the Maersk, Alabama uh, pirate attack. Based from a few on a true ago, story? Based on a true story. Really? It's Tom Hanks, who, it's, it's, I think it's kind of physically impossible to dislike him, right? Yeah. It is. It's yeah. very hard. Yeah. I try. I, I yeah. try. Well, it's yeah. not in his contract, yeah. you know. Yeah, he's yeah. got a writer that you can't yeah. hate him. It's, it, it's been getting some good buzz. Uh, it looks kind of interesting. It is, I believe, a Paul Greengrass movie, so there's going to be shaky the camera. shaky camera I'm worried about. But it's gonna be fancy pants, well, though. Paul, fancy. But Paul yeah. Greengrass did do United ninety three. That movie was really which good. is a really good movie and a really good based and on this a true is story kind of, movie. Yeah, and so it's that same kind of vein. So you know, I'm cautiously optimistic for Captain Phillips. And God, you know, I just hope he gets out of it okay. Yeah. Well, okay. So uh, Skelton says go see uh, the the Captain Phillips film with Tom Hanks, uh, but cautiously. Cautious Phillips. Proceed with caution. Uh, now we're going to go to our missing film pig, Steve Falk, and he's going to talk into his phone about some uh, kind of horror show that's coming out this weekend. All the boys love Mandy Lane. It was made in 2006. It's finally getting a theatrical release. It's been a festival darling. Uh, it's directed by Jonathan Levine, who did Warm Bodies and 50-50. Uh, Amber Heard's in it. Uh, Anson Mount, is that his name? Slasher pick. Um, hot, newly hot girl, everyone wants to fuck her, and, uh, and they, they invite her to a ranch, and then everyone starts dying. I don't know, it looks fun, I guess. All right, so there you have it. That's uh, what Steve Falk thinks about uh, All the Boys Love Mandy Lane, a horror show. He sure thinks things about movies. He sure does. He thinks things, and he talks about them right into his phone. And he ponders. And speaking of pondering about movies, our guest, Rusty Schwimmer, would like to do a rash judgment as well, I believe. Well, my rash judgment is on Machete Kills by <laughs> Robert Rodriguez. Machete! Machete, or machete. <laughs> yeah. And uh, all I can say, as a woman, all I could really concentrate was the titties firing. <laughs> if you're going to go all out, 
Not only should you be firing from the titties, but also from the lady parts. Ah. All right? Oh. Yes, that's oh. right. Or the kitty buffet, as I like to call it. <laughs> but if you really want to go for it, you should do it out of the butthole, too. Okay? Oh. Nothing better than like a sphincter, like coquettishly winking at you. <laughs> and then you, just when you think, ooh, everything's fine, boom, bam! <laughs> right out of the sphincter! You wouldn't expect it. <laughs> right, exactly. And then, you know, Danny Trejo would be like, oh my God, oh my God. And his hair would be like, whoa! You know, and so I thought maybe as a woman, I say go all out. So I don't know. It might be okay. I might see it, but I'm just wondering why they didn't do it extremist like the rest of this world. I, I agree with you. A machine yeah. gun coming out of a vulva and a butthole. Yeah. at the same time. Yeah, if there's no butthole kitty machine buffet. gun. A not... kitty buffet. Yes. The kitty buffet. Yes, kitty buffet. Uh, kitty yeah. buffinator. Yes, the kitty buffinator. There you it heard is. it here. There it is. There it is. There are your notes, Robert Rodriguez. Yeah. Yeah. Get it together, man. Dude. Yeah. Get it together. Yeah, do like a, another, like a, another pass. Yeah. yeah, another, yeah. yeah. You got to go back to the editing room, buddy. Yeah. Um, so that's Rash Judgments. Thanks, guys. I feel uh, I, I've been illuminated about uh, this week's we got a lot uh, of really good information. Yeah. Really good information. Solid stuff. We have a sponsor in a new movie, some new movie coming out. Uh, so uh, I guess we're going to show the trailer. So there's a little message break. Uh, we'll be right back after this. Can I dance? Dance away. Roll, roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Just do whatever you want. Roll it. Uh, are you a lawyer? I'm drunk. I'm a drunk lawyer. Well, um, you're all I can afford, so, uh, you'll have to do. <laughs> you okay? I always burns my throat. Well, the whole county is owned by the company, and they moved the trailer park near the chemical waste production plant. They treat chemical waste here? No, the plant produces nothing but chemical waste, and I have no idea why. Huh. Well, can I have a hit of that? You bet, uh, but I'm almost out of minutes. All right. Oh. This, it's scotch and whiskey. Yeah. Okay. It's a mix. All right. They're killing families with their chemical waste. Kids are dying. And I'm pretty sure there's an Indian burial ground around here because I'm seeing ghosts and stuff. But that could be the chemical waste. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to sober up and get things right. And isn't it true that all your accusations of chemical waste poisoning could be the result of not corporate negligence, but a simple Indian burial ground haunting? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Your Honor, I'm sober with a renewed passion for justice, and I object! Corporate lawyer wants to talk to us. I think we've really got him rattled. Do you think we can really win this? Let's go get him. <laughs> right, the corporation doesn't want to drag this trial out any longer, so they're offering you one million dollars to settle. I think you should take it. I'll take it. Give me a million dollars. What, I, so you'll stop with all the sick kids and ruined homes? Well, who cares? I'm a millionaire. <laughs> 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 
We're gonna put the facts on trial. You can't handle the truth. This whole courtroom is out of order. Give us us free, also the firm. All right, well, uh, there you have it. That's the trailer for uh, some lawyer picture. I'm not really a lawyer picture. <laughs> God, that's a lot of popcorn. That's a heavy amount of popcorn. I'm a good eater. <laughs> okay. Well, um, well, we had uh, a lot of show, but recently we got to do scenes together in a short film called Dog Catchers. So uh, look for that at a local film festival near you in the coming months. The uh, DP on that picture was a guy named uh, John Salvia. And John Salvia is also the guy who does all the post-production work and production work and crew work and lighting and, air and gripping and best boying and everything on this show. He got us our popcorn. He got us our popcorn. Yeah. Uh, he fixed Rusty's hair earlier. Um, and uh, this is his last show. Because uh, he's leaving Geek Nation uh, for uh, other, uh, I guess, greener pastures. I don't know how he's to be abandoned. greener. Just, he's he's, abandoned he's us. bailing on us. <laughs> And while I have uh, misgivings uh, about it, uh, I'd like, here, John, come out. Just, just come out. Yeah. Come, on, John, come out and explain come on, yourself. John. Just come on out. <sighs> come here, baby. <laughs> Come here, sweetie. Just come on out. Just come, come on. Yeah, come just come in. in. Easy. This will, no, this will, you'll be able to cut this oh, together. thank you. There, there, this is John, and we just want to say uh, thanks, John. We love you, and uh, good luck in your future endeavors. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to John. Thank you, John. Cheers. I'll Cheers, give you this right mm. after. Cheers. Mmm. Oh. Good stuff, right? All right. That's great. Now get off yeah, camera. Yeah, get back, go, get get back and finish the show. It's Come on. Not, it, yeah. So uh, that's it. That's the show. Until next week, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations.